Big Water Adventures travels all over the country and all over the world for that matter. We very rarely, matter of fact, we've never done a show, two shows in one location the same year. Typically speaking, we go to places that are best known for something in particular. I mean, Venice for redfish, you know, halibut, lingcod, salmon in Alaska. The list goes on, but Captain Ryan and Captain Chris O'Neill offer one of the most diverse fisheries for inshore and offshore, short of some place like Isla Mirada that is, is much more well known as being the quote, sport fishing capital of the world. Some of the world's finest saltwater fishing can be found in South Florida's backcountry. This vast network of bays, mangrove islands, and grass flats attract some of Florida's most sought after game fish, including tarpon, speckled sea trout, redfish, and the venerable snook. The very first morning, we intended to go after some snook, and we got on one of the one of his pothole points that have the fish coming around. Essentially, it's a current situation, and the bait snook are, are incredibly smart, incredibly game fish, but they will go out of their way to expend as little energy and effort as possible to get a meal. So these fish were letting, they're, they're waiting right on the, the backside, the deep drop of this point. And we were just set up and just getting ready to get on them and make a cast to them. And all of a sudden, Chris said, look behind you. I turned around and looked behind me and it, it, school of redfish. They're on it. Hooked up. Watch your line. That's the way we start right there. That is a huge school of redfish. That's what I'm talking about. I've come to really love this place and not just for the Boca Grande tarpon that we talk about all the time, but this is one of the most fertile back, literally inshore backwater fisheries. People don't realize what all's here. And that's a respectable red anywhere you go right there. That's probably on bordering on a pretty good redfish, isn't it, Chris? Oh yeah, that's, a, that's an upper slot fish uh, for around here this time of year. The real big ones haven't moved in yet, uh, but that size is plentiful. Eager to eat. Bare hand. He's actually over. He's gonna go over 27. Gonna be right in there. Yeah. So, Big Water Adventures is in Turtle Bay at Charlotte Harbor with Captain Chris O'Neill. And I can't really tell you, most of the time I can tell you what's gonna happen. This show, I think we're probably gonna run out of time before we run out of species because we're gonna catch more of these. Get him up here in the sun where we can see that fish. That beautiful gold color that they get here in the back country. That's so pretty. This is probably one of the most difficult shows to convey to you as a viewer because typically speaking, we try to, to, to intro it, body it, and, and conclude it and make it all flow together. There, there's no possible way that this show can flow together. We spent three days pounding primarily on redfish, snook, and trout with some other species thrown in. He's stuck. Go ahead, you're good. He's stuck, bud. Glad you boys came today. I'm glad you had these fish ready. Well, Brian and I have been working on them for you. We've been fishing them. Wow, that's a lot of fillets. I'm hooked up. What you got to say about this, Chris? That mullet pattern, and I tell you what, the fact that we had a 400 acre school. Had a couple fish out here for you. <laughs> that doesn't hurt things, but Unbelievable. Uh, tell you what, it's a nice fishery. Just yeah. don't say nice fish and we'll get along great. I know. That's why I came up with the term bang bang fish and scary out here. <laughs> That's a little too big to flip. You already warned me. <laughs> nice. How about that? When he gets to this point, I'll be glad to just let him get me unhooked so I can turn around and go like this and catch another one. Okay. Look at that. Flipper's behind us trying to pick our pocket. That's enough of the redfish. I'm officially calling a halt. The school's still right over there. We're gonna go catch something else. We got too many fish, too many places to go. Captain Chris has got too much in store for us. Stick with us, we'll be right back. Captain Chris O'Neill of Tail Chaser Charters is one of the Florida backcountry's premier fishing guides. Fishing in Southwest Florida, it's what I came here for. I love it. It's, uh, it's so diverse. Our charters, I run two boats, an inshore and a nearshore boat. Uh, anything from a trout for kids, uh, non-stop angling year-round, uh, all the way up to 700, 800 pound Jewfish, by far uh, world record class fish. Inshore or offshore, Tail Chaser has got you covered, but their specialty lies in the unique local hotspots in and around South Florida, like Charlotte Harbor. 
Southwest Florida is known for a lot of things, uh, in particular Boca Grande, Boca Grande Pass because of the tarpon and all the stuff going on there. But actually Boca Grande Pass is my plan B or maybe C because I've got 270 square miles of water out here, a shoreline that's just absolutely world-class angling. Uh, it's year-round fishing, it's just phenomenal. Many a bass fisherman long for the opportunity to hook up a snook for three reasons. It's a topwater bite, it's a hard fight, and it tastes right. Oh, there he is. Stuck. Get him, big boy. Those are snook. That's what we came here for. Trying to double up with him. That's, That's why we got up earlier this morning. That's a pile of snook right there, Mark. We got up earlier this morning to get on the snook. The redfish yesterday, never got the big trout. We're gonna get back on them. Just started, obviously we've got snook right in front of us. There they are. They're, they're and Chris feeding. popped one quick. They're feeding like crazy in that current. Oh, I got them right. I got one right behind definitely me. Definitely better fish, Mark. That's a good looking little snook there. These guys are staging up around this point here. Definitely a concentration point. Mark's hooked up. <laughs> you make this too easy, man. That is why we come down here. I got one of them hooked on a top water back here. I got a pig on. Whoa. Uh, there's one of them on this side too, dude. This is unbelievable. Uh, there's one of them straight behind me hooked up on a badonka donk. Get a net, dude. Just put him in a net. He's coming in. Put him in the net. Right there. Got him, bud. Oh, he's still on there. Yeah, I know. That's why I put him in the rod holder. How about that? Dog and dogs. We're not going to get off these fish. We're going to go right back and hook them up again. We were, we were rolling from our, we tried to get away from the redfish and we were rolling to our next trout spot. And uh, Captain Chris comes peeling off the top. <laughs> and he said, hey, Mark, he said, uh, how bad do you want to get away from the redfish? And I said, I don't know why. And he said, well, there's a school of about 600 of them right there. I said, I don't want to get off of them that bad. How about that? Captain Chris O'Neill. Sometimes it's Jewfish, sometimes it's shark. It could be snook or tarpon or trout, but right now it's redfish. Bang, bang, redfish time. And here we go. Let's turn them loose, go find that school again. Mark just can't help himself. Who wants it? It's a 400 pounder. Most people would call a 400 pound fish the star of the show, but. This is not a Jewfish show. Last stop of the day, we're pulling in. We know we've got a bunch of snook there. Got him. That would be a snook. Come here, big boy. I think that fish ate it. Unbelievable. Absolutely unreal. This has been an unbelievable day too. Filled with redfish and snook and trout, just like we've been catching. We've already talked about these guys and caught a bunch of them. That was about a 120 pound black tip shark. And you know what? Captain Chris O'Neill has put us on snook, uh, jump one tarpon, trout, redfish, big Jew fish, 120 pound black tip shark. I'm pooped. I'm at you.